Competitors will set CMS configuration according to the task, design CMS by modifying templates, and add functions in this training. Here's what competitors will do. First, change dashboard settings and set menu, create header and footer, and set CSS. Next, form front page configuration and set front page design, visual section and font, Perform front page design, content section, front page design, contact form. Please check what you are going to perform on this task. From now on, let's change dashboard setting. When you first enter the dashboard, delete the panel and widgets that display Welcome to WordPress at the top. Items to be removed are Welcome Panel, Yoast SEO Posts Overview, and WordPress Events and News. This is how to remove. Open Functions PHP file in the Kazan Museum Tour theme folder and enter the code as shown on the screen then save. Open the web browser and refresh the dashboard to confirm that the Welcome to WordPress panel and widgets have disappeared. Let's set the menu from now on. Add the museum's menu and move the museum menus at the bottom. Add the Seasons Events menu from Categories and add News Posts below. Then display the added menus in Main folder of Header. This is how to set menu. Select the Appearance menu on the dashboard and click Menus. Click the Create Menu button on the right side of the screen of the Menus. The Create Menu button changes to the Save Menu button. On the left side of the screen of the menus, click the Customs links to enter the museums in link text. Enter Sharp in URL and click the Add Menu button. Click that the museum's menu has been created in the right-hand menu structure area. Drag the museum's menu under the Home menu and drag several museum menus below the museum's menu. Just drag slightly to the right under the parent menu to move to the sub-menu. Click on the Categories to check the seasonal events and press the Add to Menu button to add it to the menu. Click the News Posts to check Seasonal Event 1. Press the Add to Menu button to add it to the menu and move it below the seasonal events. Click on the Main Menu in Display Location to make sure the menu is displayed in Header PHP of the Blank Slate template and click Save Menu. Click on the Kazan Museum in the upper left corner and click Visit Site to confirm that the menu is displayed on the screen. From now on, let's create a header and footer. Kazan Museum Tour theme, create header and footer. Copy the header PHP and footer PHP of the blank slate to the Kazan Museum Tour folder and edit and add the code to the style CSS file to set the basic design. This is how to work. Copy the header PHP and footer PHP of the blank slate to the Kazan Museum Tour folder and open the file in the editor. Follow the screen and edit the header PHP file. The code is as follows. Access the CMS homepage and check the changes. From now on, let's configure front page. To create a custom site front page template, create a front page PHP file in the Kazan Museum Tour folder and include a header and footer and add content. 
This is how to work. Create the front page PHP file in the Kazan Museum Tour folder. Enter the code as shown on the screen, then save. Open a browser and open the CMS website to check if the main page is visible. It is not yet designed. Open the saved style CSS file under the Kazan Museum Tour folder and apply the design. Enter the CSS codes while looking at the screen, then save. CSS codes allow to change the appearance of the main page and menus being shown and also defines the style of the responsive web. From now on, let's design visual section of front page design. Design the visual section of the front page and for the visual effects of the front page, edit the image and change the theme to show it. This is how to work. Select the appropriate image from the provided image file and edit it in Photoshop. Editing applies the best looking effects. Save the edited images in the Images folder under the Kazan Museum Tour folder as visual.jpg images. Add and save CSS codes for visual areas, shown at the bottom of the style CSS file. Open the site, refresh it, and check the results. From now on, let's set font. Add some of the font-related styles to set up typography on the site. This is how to work. Open Style CSS in the Kazan Museum Tour folder as editor. Enter the codes as shown on the screen and save. Open the site, refresh it, and check the results. From now on, let's do the work to show the news post and museum in the content area of the front page. This is how to work. In the front page PHP file of the Kazan Museum Tour folder, create a div with a container class. Enter the remaining codes and save. Add card thumbnail related codes in the front page PHP file as shown on the screen. To add the CSS design for the news post section, open the style CSS file and enter the CSS codes as shown on the screen and save. Refresh the main page of the site to check the results. Continue to edit the CSS codes to check for changes and check the operation of the responsive web. Now add the museum to the front page. Since most codes are similar, copy and use the codes in the News Post section. Select the container code containing the codes of the News Post section in the front page PHP file. Copy it with Control C and paste it into the next blank line, Control V. Only edit some of the codes as shown on the screen and check whether the museum information is clearly visible on the front page.
From now on, use the template provided to make the contents form a front page. This is how to work. In the front page PHP file of the Kazan Museum Tour folder, enter the codes for the new container section, as shown on the screen. Open the FormSphere example TXT file among the provided CMS media files and copy the contents. Paste the copied form codes in the container section. Edit the form codes as shown on the screen. Save the codes, refresh the front page of the site and check whether the contact form has been added. Add the CSS codes to the style CSS file as shown on the screen and save. Open the site, refresh it, and check if the contact form is displayed properly. Check again the key points of the task we've worked on in this training. In this training, we have set up CMS configuration according to task requirements and revised templates to design and add functions to CMS. Thank you for your hard work.